Yo, what's going on people? It's OGCP De Silva. Welcome back to some Black Ops 2. We are playing a TDM game here, of course. We're gonna be using the AN-94, my favorite assault rifle in the game. That was a terrible C4. Let's reset, pick that up, and throw it again. And we are now successful in the detonation of that explosive device. But anyways, this was a 24 and 2. TDM to be exact, so hopefully you guys enjoy that in the background, but I know in any Treyarch game that I play, I'm able to get a beast game, if not in the first game that I hop onto, but at least, at least the second, I know I'm going to get a great score. I know I'm going to do well. I can't say the same with Infinity Wars games. I can't say the same with Sledgehammer's game called Advanced Warfare. I can't guarantee that, but in a Treyarch game, it just fits my playstyle. The way I play, the way I want to play, it just fits me best. And I know I'm able to do well because of that. But anyways, I want to talk to you guys about YouTube drama and basically how I have avoided it on this channel and for however long I've done this YouTube thing. And it's really quite simple. I see this problem mainly, mainly with bigger YouTubers. Obviously because they have a bigger voice, right? So they're able to relate a lot more information to a bigger audience. So a lot more people are listening to it. So that's why, you know, it's a bigger issue for them whenever they, you know, talk about something. Because everybody's listening, of course. But here's the thing. If you're a smaller YouTuber and you make a big enough issue about it, obviously it can still, you know, go out there to the community and a lot of people can see that you obviously have a problem and it's gonna get blown out of proportion. Let me give you guys an example. Like if you're constantly talking about someone else, like another YouTuber, and granted that they might have shady tactics that they're using, they might be fishy and suspicious with the way they're titling their videos, right? They might be using um, or view whoring, they might be using other tactics that are sort of cheating in a way to get them more exposure or they use other people, that's a big one, use other people's success to get where they are Then obviously that is an issue and it's fine to talk about that for a brief moment but don't just dwell on that talk about it for a brief moment or for that video and then move on, don't just constantly dwell on it. Don't just constantly bring it up because you're giving them importance. And people who do that don't deserve that importance. They don't. Give importance to the people who are doing well in the community. Who you respect. Who give back to the subscribers. Who make great videos. Who make great content. Those are the type of people that I want to personally give importance to. And that's what I do on my channel. You know, I don't dwell on the people who are shady, who are suspicious, or just plain out are bad, <laughs> you know, in what they do. I don't dwell on that. I do me. You do you, and worry about yourself. Don't worry about other people. Just focus on yourself. You focus on creating the best possible content that you can without cheating the system or making it seem like you're cheating the system by using, you know, these suspicious tactics. No, don't do that. Um, another thing is controversial topics. I try to avoid those because I know you could get a huge backlash from the community, right? And you could possibly get into trouble. You know, and I try to avoid that on my channel. I try to keep my channel clean. I try to keep my channel appropriate for the most part. I, I think I do a pretty good job of that. And it's fine even if you don't. Um, that's just how I run my channel. Personally, I'm telling you guys what I've done so far on my channel. Um, and honestly, the way I carry myself is I want to provide content that I think would be entertaining not only for myself because that's the most important thing. It has to be entertaining to you to create the content, then only will your subscribers be entertained, right? That's first off. And then I try to at least have something productive or something inspirational or something positive that perhaps maybe my subscribers or even fellow youtubers can benefit from something that they can learn from that might help you know with any area of life whether it's on youtube um again in your own real life or whatever 
I try to provide that on my channel. That's what I do. I don't know how you guys run your channel, but that's how I run mine. That's how I uh, I have avoided, you know, unnecessary hate towards me and my videos, my channel. That's what I do. That's what I have done, and that's what's worked for me. But anyways, let me know what you guys thought about the gameplay. Let me know what you guys think about all I've said. Enjoy your Monday here on the 23rd of March. This is OG Speed to Silva. I'll catch you guys on the next one. And I am signing off.